We've traveled quite a bit throughout southern Mindanao and have spent time with the Sama people, one of the largest and most diverse ethno-linguistic groups in Southeast Asia and the Philippines. They are known for having a strong connection to the sea, one that has been nurtured over centuries. We frequently cross paths with men who are able to dive into the depths of the ocean with rudimentary equipment, holding their breath for minutes on end while catching fish for their survival and livelihood. One such man is Elidio Gulisan, also known as Ima. His story is one of strife, grit, and hope, as he continues to live in his traditional ways, but has also started carving his name in the record books as a professional freediver. It's easy to live in a bubble, oblivious to the environment around us. Just look around you though, and inspiration is everywhere. Surround yourself with people who are doing the work and trying to make a change, using their creativity to tell stories that make an impact. Let's get into it. Now, I'm an okay freediver, but shooting and diving is a whole different skill. So I knew that if I wanted to do this story justice, I needed help. You might have seen Sebastian Gilbert in some of our other freediving videos. He helped us shoot the ones in Apo Reef and Bohol back in 2019. He's an avid freediver and filmmaker, so we thought he'd be the perfect fit for this trip. So you started with surf videography and photography? Well, initially I started with just videography. Like documentary, that's what I wanted to do. I basically saw someone doing like a travel show or something like that. Yeah. And I was like really drawn towards it. I was like, if he can do it, I can do it. What drew you to stay in the Philippines and kind of shoot a lot here? So I'm shooting a lot in the Philippines because I like underwater. Lately, I think the Philippines have been given the number one spot in the world as a scuba diving and, sc and scuba yeah. diving destination, right? So there is a lot to cover here already. Yeah. So I'm very happy with that. So that's why I'm spending most of my time uh, around this place. Different islands, different culture. Can be food also because, yes, people know that I do a lot of underwater, but I don't do just that. I really like going towards places that maybe some other people don't know yet. Yeah, so so you, did, you did a series called um, yeah, Heritage. Heritage. Yeah, which, which focuses in the Philippines also with uh, correct, Chef Chile also. Correct, yeah. Did you kind of understand also the impact that creativity and filmmaking can have on a community, on uh, just in terms of helping other people and everything like that? Is that something that you also see kind of like that makes you more passionate about filmmaking? Well, the way I see it is, there is a sentence I really like, is you only protect what you love. And the only way for you to love something is to be aware of it, to somehow know it. So the way I want to do that is to showcase people, hey, this exists. So what I'm trying to do with the content I create is, yes, it's entertainment, it's education, but it's basically showing people, hey, this is what we have and it's worth protecting it trying for people to fall in love with it the same way I'm in love with it and I want to protect it. We're about to meet Imam and um, I feel like we see it as observers and creating these films and showcasing these people but we don't live on the front line of it and I think what we're about to kind of discover is people who live on the front line really bear the brunt of climate change, of ocean pollution and all that um, and that's why I think Imam's story will be really important to document and to showcase because he exemplifies what's kind of wrong, what's happening, but also the hope that there is for certain communities. After a quick bite, we went over to meet Imam in his new place further inland. Imam, like many other Sama people, live primarily by the sea, most of them originally coming from the area around the Sulu Sea. 
But over the decades, conflict, piracy, discrimination, fishing, and environmental issues have led them to migrate to other parts of the Philippines, or even as far as Malaysia, Indonesia, and back. They are often frowned upon, and the governments rarely make the effort to help them settle. Nangyari kasi ano eh, doon kami nakatira sa sa sa, so na ano kami na displace, na demolish. Ah, nag-demolish sila? Oo, oh, nag-transfer kami doon. Pero yun yung bahay nasa dagat mismo? Oo, oh, yes, nasa dagat yung bahay ko noon. Oh. How, many, how many people in that community? Mga uh, almost 100 families. Oh, wow. Oh, ang, ang origin namin, ang, ang among original is gikan sa hulo, tawi-tawi. Then, nag-magigrate akong mga lolo. So, yan higdabaw. 1950s pa daw ingon nila. Uh, diha na po na tao sa anang lugar. Imam and his family used to live on the sea in a barangay called Sagrada Seaside in Sasa, closer to central Davao City. There, he was chosen to be the religious leader of the community. However, they were asked to leave, spreading the townspeople to different areas, which is why he rebuilt his home in Samal Island. Proud ko na himong sama, tungod kay na atong ginaingon niya, pagkamaayo na mo, uh, pagkamahiubusanon, o pagkama, yun yung, maami, maamiguhon. Since birth na, na, na namideha sa sa sa, ang tunay dako ko, siyempre masakitan na, na mapil na mo nga murag nai discrimination. He no longer lives on the sea, but his connection with it is as strong as ever. You still consider yourself a fisherman ka pa rin, pero may second life ka as a freediving competitor. Oo, kasi isa rin na nakatulong sa akin ang freediving dahil sa mga tao, dahil sa mga sponsor, dahil, dahil din sa freediving, naging ganito ako. Maraming tao na nag punta sa akin, so naging source na ng income ko. The water did not look clear in Samal Island, so we drove the three hours to Jensen to try and capture shots of Imam spearfishing and diving. So Seb, we're shooting with the same camera, no? So we're shooting with a 7 3 So we're lucky with the low light, if ever. Although, it's a sunny day today, so I guess the visibility and the... We should be okay. Should be fine. So I'm my my goal today is to, to be shooting Seb who is gonna be shooting Imam. So <laughs> Seb has the hard job of actually trying to shoot Imam properly. Forgotten and the broken and the poor rejoice. The stillness is your rejoice. The stillness is your rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. When was your young last competition? 2019? Uh, to, to 20. Ah, 2020. San? Dito? Bohol. Bohol, yes. Okay. And young event was a Bohol, it was young no pins line. Yeah, national record. Masaya ako, lalo na kung nandoon ako sa dagat, biro mo araw-araw, halos walang pahinga, uh, tapos doon ka na nabubuhay. Yun, parang ano na rin, pangalawang bahay na rin. 
When you first touch the water, you are a foreigner. When you dive in head first and start holding your breath for a few minutes, the most magical thing happens. For I am with thee. You start becoming part of the water. It closes around you, not in a constricting way, but with a tender embrace. The deeper you go, the more at ease you become. Eventually, at the bottom, peace, quiet, and self-actualization waits for you. For I am For us, it's training, how to breathe, equalize, prepare, and be efficient. Watching Imam, you can tell it's years of experiences and reflexes. He doesn't take as much time as us between dives to prepare. He looks at us comically, chuckling when we tell him not to go deeper than 20 meters on the next one. Ang pinaka-importante sa pre-diving, yung relaxation. The light is bad down there, we say, but we are really just trying to save our lungs. We don't recognize any of the taught techniques that we were told to memorize. It's pure instinct and reflexes, a natural ability that is impossible to teach and can only be admired. Habang lumalaki ako, natuto ako sa pag sa experience, doon ako kumuha ng mga mga aral. At nagamit ko rin sa pag pre -dive. Now that we got our shots in, Seb will teach me how to properly color underwater pictures using Lenovo's powerful Legion Slim 7i and Yoga Pro 9i. Okay, so that was a couple hours with Imam in the water. That was a good session, actually. That, I love that he kept asking, so what do you want me to do now? Yeah, what, what do you want to do? And Seb was like taking a breath. <sighs> and then Imam let's, was like, uh, let's just survive. <laughs> let's just survive first, and then after we'll go for the second round. He made us feel like we were the older ones since we were catching the <laughs> and kind of everything. But you stuck by him. You did, you did a pretty good job. No, no, no that was okay. That and was I okay. I think you got some pretty good footage. But I think he was, he was waiting for me, yeah. And the footage are okay. So mostly videos, but we did have some photos that we're going to edit now yeah. and uh, yeah, throw that uh, to the laptop and uh, try to see what we can do with them. Okay. So for those of you wondering, I'm using the Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i and Seb is using the Lenovo Legion Slim 7i. I like to constantly be productive even during my flights and my shoots in far-flung places. Luckily, I have the highly efficient and powerful Lenovo Yoga Pro 9i that suits my active lifestyle. The Yoga Pro 9i was made for creators to go beyond their limits. Equipped with Lenovo X Power Custom Performance Tuning Solution, engineered via deep collaboration with Intel Evo platform, the device was tested to ensure that it has a long battery life, fast charging, instant responsiveness, which allows me to simultaneously edit videos, pictures, while answering emails and messages without delays. It's also AI enabled, so features like background blur, smart noise canceling lets me take video calls wherever I am without having to worry about external noise. We have a 13th gen Intel Core i9-139058H processor with 14 cores. We've got NVIDIA GeForce RTX 468GB GDDR6, 1TB SSD, and weighing in at only 1.68 kilograms. For audio, we got four series speakers with Dolby Atmos Smart Amplifier. And I always say, forget about the camera. Become a very good swimmer and diver first. It needs to become second nature because managing the camera and all the settings and all the buttons and everything, it's complicated enough. By the way, people are wondering, Seb does have like a, a coloring master course for underwater photography and videography. So check it out, we'll put the link in the bio. So I can suggest, looking at it, I would suggest to take one that might seem challenging. So when I say challenging, it means it might be either underexposed okay. or a little bit overexposed. Or you think that this photo, like the framing is good, but the colors are kind of crappy. As an underwater photographer and filmmaker, I need a thin and lightweight laptop that can keep up with my creative needs. With my Legend Slim 7i powered by the 13th gen Intel Core H series processor, I can handle whatever creative task I throw at wherever, whenever, because the Legend Slim 7i has 14 cores, which means that I can edit photos, stream videos, catch up on emails, and do other tasks simultaneously, smoothly. 
Its Lenovo PureSight gaming display offers up to 3.2K breathtaking visuals, lightning fast frames and more screen space allowing me to get cutting edge and immersive graphics with AI enhanced voice and video resolutions. Yeah. My Legion has as processor an Intel Core 13 Gen Intel Core i7, 1TB SSD, a card reader 4-in-1 and weighs less than 2.4kg. What is happening is that when you're shooting underwater, the real challenge is actually the, this blue tint, greenish tint that you have. Do I focus on one specific element that I want to bring out? Let's say I want his skin color to be accurate. Yes, that could be. So you have different approach for that. So it's either you focus on the skin color and you don't care about anything else and everything else you will try to fix it later, but you want to focus on the skin color initially. or you focus on the overall color tonality of the image and then later on we can focus just on the skin tone. Yeah, I'm happy with the shoot we had this yeah. morning, definitely. Tight schedule, so we'll head back to Davao. See what tomorrow brings. All right. Carry me home when the light in my eyes does fade. Carry me home when the shadow comes to take me away. Unang isip ko na makakuha talaga ako sa araw na ito para may madala ako sa pamilya. Pag doon na ako sa dagat, gigil na gigil ako sa pag nakakita na ako ng isda. Minsan ay makalimutan ko na yung limit, limit ko ba sa, ano, sa breath hold ko, yun para lang makuha yung isda. Fishing is the main source of income for the Sama people, whether by line or by spear. Nowadays, they need to go out further to find bigger catches, and Imam mentioned to us that the fish in the Philippines went to university because they have become so educated and are harder to catch every year. Halos lahat na nalaman ko na yung mga karakter ng isla, gaya ng tribali, yung talakitok, yung kitang. Uh, karamihan makuha ko ta kitang eh. Oo. Mara karamihan magkuha. Kasi, kasi alam ko na ang ano nila eh. Anong karakter nila? Kailangan din na nakatago ka talaga. Naka, kung may nakatago ka talaga at saka hindi ka kumilos. Kasi pag kumilos ka, kumilos din ang isda. You will see Samas fishermen easily reach depths of 20 to 30 meters because beyond that there are less fish, but they can probably go down way deeper helped by a weight that sends them straight to the seafloor. They'll stay underwater anywhere from one to three minutes, watching and catching their prey. The family unit is one of the most important Filipino values. It is ever present in our culture and is usually intertwined with religious belief. Nahimo kong imam, tungod ra sa ako ang papa, uh, ginadala-dala niya ako. O iya kong gitudluan kabahay sa, sa amo ang relihiyon. Ako ang responsibility, ang pagtanaw sa community, pagtabang, unsay matabang, o pag buhat sa mga uh, buluhaton kabahin sa amo ang relihiyon. Naghuna-huna po ko sa mga tao kung saan kanang maayo po ang ilahang panginabuhi, maayo po ang ilahang pagpuyo sa ila sa pamilya. It was about 10 years ago when Sama fishermen had the opportunity to test their abilities in a free diving meet in Davao. Most of them had done this all their lives, but without the gadgets they needed to be able to determine their time or maximum depth. Yung unang attempt ko sa competition, wala pa kung alam noon. 
Ang akin lang is uh, try. Uh, unang-una, maraming, mar- maraming audience, maraming judge, maraming safety sa palibot. Simple first time mo, talagang kinabahan ka. Yung kaba na yun, parang nawala rin sa akin. Ang, dahil lang sa ano yan, sabi ko, kaya ko to. Kinaya ko talaga. The results of that competition were shocking to most. The winner had reached about an 80-meter depth. Imam didn't win, but it gave him a taste of what was possible. Since then, he has entered competitions from time to time and has been featured both on HBO and Netflix. In 2019, he attempted and failed to break the national record in the free immersion category, but he was unable to complete the protocol after his dive and blacked out. When nag black black out ako yun ay nung pataas na ako so napiling ko parang ano na to parang hindi na kaya sa sa breath hold ko parang ano ano lang parang na disappoint din Parang lungkot, ganun. bakit ganun, bakit nangyari, after yung uh, blackout ako, so sabi ko mag ano ako uli, mag uh, compete ako uli, kailangan makuha ko na yung national record, o nakuha ko rin. He later broke the national record in the CNF category in 2019. Nag, nag-announce na yung jazz, sabi niya, white card. NR. Noon, uh, lahat-lahat sila ay nagpalakpakan. No. Pati yung coach ko, wow! Sabi ko, ang saya-saya ko na araw na yun. Na nakuha ko yung NR. It has since been broken and he sits at the number 6 and 8 spot respectively on both those disciplines. But he is more determined than ever to try and keep claiming the top spot. After talking to him, though, winning doesn't drive him. He does this for his family and for representation for his people. Ang ambition ko na sa sa next uh, competition talagang mag enara ko mag national record. Yon ang alam ko. Ako lang ang parang sama na naging national record. So parang proud ko rin na yung kasamahan ko nasama na mayroong ako na naka national record sa sa Pilipinas. <laughs>